Welcome to the French Drayman channel. I'm Robert Sherwood, your host. And I wanted to go over an engineering bulletin that I have. You know, we're not going to get all geeky. It's a five-page engineered uh, engineering bulletin on our fabric. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Obviously, this is meant for industry insiders for the most part. But without getting into all the formulas and boring everyone to tears, basically it goes on to say that the purpose of our filter fabric is to permit the free flow of water while retaining soil particles behind the fabric so that we are preventing the contamination of our drainage stone. That's basically what this is all about. So there's a little diagram that they also give, and I just wanted to go over this with you guys because it gives all the details to how this fabric works. So here's a nice little diagram for you. This is meant for, like this diagram here was done on a road construction scenario. So highway edge drain is what this is. So they show a pipe and they show a burrito wrap and then they show all the native soil. They got a magnifying glass and they're zooming in on the fabric. So you got your drainage stone on the left, you got in the middle of that magnifying glass, the non-woven geotextile double punch fabric, and then you have your soil on the right side of that magnifying glass. Now this is immediately after construction. So that's how it looks. Now it's not gonna perform its best. It's gonna perform, but it won't perform its best until all the sediment washes through this double punched fabric yes we need the sediment to wash through i get people emailing me pictures all the time and they're freaking out because they see all this sediment inside their sump pump system and you know i'm i'm, I'm giving them all kinds of reassurance it's doing what it's supposed to do the reason why our fabric works better and better and better is because as time goes on and more sediment washes through the non-woven geotextile double punch fabric, the better the soil filter zone that is formed becomes. This soil filter zone that forms between the non-woven geotextile fabric that's double punched and the native soil, that is key. Along with hydrostatic pressure, and you have all kinds of different things that make this extremely geeky, and we're not going to even go there, but everybody's always asking, can you show us why this fabric works so amazing? Because everyone that's used it gets the same results. They're fantastic. Unless you're just, you know, some knucklehead in Florida throwing a gob of mud on it, going, oh, look, it's plugged, because, you know, that happens. I, I've seen uh, numerous videos like that. The reason why our fabric works so well is because it's double punched. And the longer you have your system in, the better the soil filter zone that's formed becomes. This is how this works. So immediately after construction, it's not going to work its best. you got to get all that sediment to wash through it. As time goes on and it's washing sediment through that non-woven geotextile fabric that's double punched, you are going to create the soil filter zone. When that forms, you are going to get some out-of-the-world performance that you just can't even believe because the contractors that have switched over to our non-woven geotextile double punch fabric, they cannot believe how well it works. This is why it works so well, and they won't go back to not using non-woven geotextile fabric that's double punched. So again, this is a great diagram. This is a great example of why our filter fabric is the way to go. In my hand, I have three inch and a half round rock. They're laying loose in my hand, but they're up against one another. They won't compact because it's round rock, not crushed rock. What do you see? Look into those three rocks. What do you see? You see a void. What is that void for? It's to move water. That's what that void is for. So a lot of people have been asking, doesn't the water just fall out of high octane because of the big inlets? And hey, it's a legit question. So 
I'm trying to give you a visual. So that's what big round rock does. Look at the void, inch and a half round rock. Now, look at that void. This void moves 240 gallons per minute with only 1% slope. All right, so let's, let's entertain and educate all at once. All right, so here's your French drain on drugs, okay? All right, so here's your French drain on drugs. Your lawnmower's going over it. You're going over it. Where'd all the voids go? Where did all those voids go? They filled with mud. Holy smokes. Wait a minute. Okay, I got void. But as this, during our wet season, mixes with the subsurface soil, the voids disappear. The voids are gone. That's your French drain on drugs. Here's your French drain, highly educated. All the voids, all the voids stay in between the stone. None of the subsurface soil is going up into the stone and filling the voids. Again, your French drain on drugs. Your French drain, highly educated, healthy, and not on drugs. All right, everybody. Until that next video.